Previously on Model Lifestyle. So I just arrived in South Africa, Cape Town, and there's a water problem here. Water is life, man. Yeah. People are going to die. I don't want that nonsense. What we want is water. Yeah. I don't care DA, I don't care ANC, I don't care COP or whatever. Yeah. We need water. Yeah. This is my model apartment for the next two months. Something dangerously happened here. Somebody died over here. I noticed all the homeless people. Anyway, I finally arrived at my agency. And on my way back, I saw yet another crime scene. One day, I decided to go check out a church near the model apartment. It is called Life Church. After the service, the pastor invited me to go with him to the poor area of Cape Town to see the project that they have there to help the kids who are in need. The modeling season in Cape Town seemed to have stopped and I'm not getting any work, but instead of just sitting and waiting, I decided to use the time to explore Cape Town. And I went everywhere. And finally, just as I thought that the modeling season in Cape Town will be bad, I got my first casting. But I was not ready for what I was about to experience. Hi. If this is your first time on my channel, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss the next video. Right now, I'm seeing a few models that are waiting outside, which means that there are probably a lot of models that are waiting inside. Cape Town castings. And I was right. Look at this. And I thought I was early. So at all the castings in Cape Town, you have to write down your name and agency on a piece of paper. Then you get a number. Then the waiting starts. So many models here. How long have you been here? We models have a certain saying. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> we say this because agencies, studios and clients, they always want us to be on time. But then they make us wait. <laughs> My number is 122, which is insane. Because I came here 20 minutes early. But still, 121 models got here before me. Which means there are a lot of models in town fighting for jobs. News came that Cape Town's water would be cut off. So many clients decided not to do photo shoots in Cape Town, which means there are too many models in town and not enough jobs. This is not looking good. Unfortunately, they did not allow me to take more videos inside the casting, but after two hours, I'm finished. A few days went by and I'm on the way to my second cast. Oh, this is it, right? Thanks, man. my name to a list and then they asked me to turn off my camera so another week is gone and I only got two castings it is not looking great time went on and castings stopped but I would not let this get me down in the meantime I would work out every day Every day I would 
go out somewhere in Cape Town to get some fresh air. If you come to Cape Town for modeling, you can get a My City bus and it will take you anywhere you want to go. But be ready to wait a long time in off-peak periods. Today I decided to go to Camden Bay. Now, this is one of the best things about modeling in Cape Town. It is that you can go down to the beach whenever you have some free time. Now, Camps Bay is a famous beach in South Africa because of its beautiful white sandy beach and its tropical palm trees and it's got this beautiful mountain backdrop. It has a great cafe culture right on the beach road so you can grab a bite to eat or a cocktail whenever you feel like it. So Cape Town is almost perfect. The only problem is that the water is cold. That's the only thing I would change, that and the crime and the corruption. But as time went by, I started to think that I should cut this trip short if there is no work in Cape Town. Time flew by and then my mother agency organized a photo shoot for me. But it was one and a half hour away from Cape Town. Hey, so we're on the way to Valiersdorp. I'm doing a photo shoot there. And I'm here with my mother from Cape Town, <laughs> Mary in the back. Uh, she offered to give me a, a lift to Valiersdorp. And I'm here with Darren, really cool guy as well. So, here we go. <laughs> Die Mikrofone. Der ist mit dem Mikrofon ist. Sit in, sit in Dorbay. Yeah. That's, that's an Afrikaans accent if you're actually English. <laughs> This trip with Mother Mary and Darren was fun. And we saw a lot of things on the road. We even saw baboons. Quick stop at the prison where the famous yes. Nelson Mandela was oh, held up. Statue. Turn left at the end of this road and be in Franschhoek. Franschhoek, okay. Mm. Wow, swim, swim way. Do you know the people who still stay here, are they French? Or are they mixed? South Africans, French? Yeah, it's mixed. Yeah. But you do have quite a few French families who are still um, farmers from the olden days that have become yeah. assimilated. So that's where you get the, the surnames like uh, Villiers, ah. which is from, the, from France. It, okay. And you know, we call it very Villiers yeah. or La Rue. Isn't, La Bouchain, La Bouscachny. Duplessis, isn't that? Duplessis. 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 Yeah. yeah. Those are all French words. Sorry. Yeah, du toit, du toit. Yeah. Du toit. Mm -hmm. Some of the white people in South Africa have stayed here for a long time. Their ancestors arrived here in the 1600s. But now, sadly, our corrupt government started to move forward with a new law which allows land expropriation without any compensation which is basically stealing. So right now, Nikita and I are actually in the process of looking to immigrate to another country. We also passed by the Tierwaters Dam. Oh, it's called the Tierwaters Dam. 
Tier Waters Dam. This is the water supply of Cape Town. And there is no water. It's insane. Okay, Giri is the water. Nothing left. Yo. You see, there's no water left. Yeah, but it's yeah. I'm in shock. This is far less than I thought. Anyway, finally we arrived at Valir's Dorp and we started the photo shoot. Hello. Hey buddy. Hello. Coming to say hi. Invalier's Dorp. I noticed that this photographer does not take a lot of photos to get his shots. He takes only a few photos at the start, just to adjust the camera settings. Then, when it's ready, he takes only 10 to 20 shots. So, my poses needed to be spot on. His name is Milan Krunier. The job finished quickly and it was a great day. We were on the road back to Cape Town again. And as we drove back home, I started to miss Nikita. <laughs> and then my responsibilities as a husband started to kick in. And I was wondering if it really is a good idea to stay here in Cape Town longer. Because now that I've seen the water crisis, and all the models fighting to survive, the low amount of castings and clients, I can't control any of it. But I do have a wife to take care of, and, and bills need to be paid. <sighs> but I think I know what to do. If this is your first time on my channel, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss the next video.